Now as part of the Intro to Amazon Web Services course, there was a couple activities that were left as a student exercise. We didn't have time to get all the minute operational requirements in place. We focused on the core values about learning AWS services. In this video, we're going to cover the student exercise of how to connect our WordPress database instance to RDS. So we have already created the RDS instance, we've properly configured it, we've linked the security groups, but it doesn't actually have any data. So what we're going to do is log into our AC2 instance. Instance, we're going to change the WordPress configuration to stop pointing locally and to start pointing to RDS. So to get started, what we need to do is you need to go to the EC2 management console in the Amazon Web Services because we need to get the public DNS and name of our EC2 instance. So click instances from the instances menu on the left. And you'll see we have WordPress server, select it and we're going to copy the public DNS into our clipboard. So either command C or control C. Now we're going to change over to our terminal window and we are going to SSH into the instance. So here we are in the terminal window and if you remember correctly it's SSH space dash I the path uh, either relative or full to your SSH certificate EC2 dash user at and then paste in the uh, public DNS of the instance. Hit enter and we are going to log in. Now our WordPress install is in a directory called var www.html. If you ls, you'll see we have all of our WordPress files. The file we're concerned with is wp-config. Now what we need to do is change the WordPress configuration file to not point to the local database, but to point to RDS. So to do that, we're going to have to edit the wp-config file. So type sudo nano wp-config.php. And you'll see as we scroll down, you'll see the database name as well as database user, a password, and a database host. Now our database name, if you followed the instructions in the RDS video, is WordPress underscore DB. Our default user right now is going to be admin. Our password is whatever you chose to enter. I selected the ultra secure password 123. Yes, that's uh, sarcasm. You really need to pick a better password than that. And now for our uh, DB host, you need to paste in the RDS address. To get the RDS address of our DB instance, you need to select the public DNS of the RDS instance. So we'll flip to our browser and we'll do that now. And now we're going to go to the RDS management console from the services dropdown. You can select RDS. It's under database, RDS. Now click on the instances link on the left hand side. You're going to see we have our WordPress DB. Select that and you'll get the endpoint. That is the information we need. We need to copy that. So select it, copy it into the clipboard, command or control C, and we're going to flip back to our terminal. So with that information now on the clipboard, we come back to our config file and we simply paste it in to the DB host value. Then we're going to remove the 3306 and the colon that specifies a port that's already configured elsewhere in this file. Now we'll push control O, hit enter to save the file, control X to exit. Now WordPress is configured to use our RDS instance. We're going to restart Apache. So in this case, we're going to say sudo service httpd restart. You'll see it's restarted correctly, and now we're using the RDS instance as our data store, not locally. It's just that simple. So now what would be a good process if this was actually a production instance is to shut down our MySQL database and clean that installation up. Because this is a relative throwaway, we're not going to go through those steps. Uh, it's relatively straightforward to do that. You simply reverse what we did to start with. So you can look at the configuration uh, script and actually just you know flip off for on and stop for start, that type of thing, uh, and you'll be all set. And that's how we configure our WordPress instance to use RDS instead of the local MySQL database.